<sighs> Just as the data bank requires updating, so I must keep evolving. Would you like me to relay your message? Can you wait a little moment? The Master Diviner will be here soon. She's temporarily taken on the General's responsibilities. Before meeting you, she must make the current situation known and fortify public spirit. This is her first real test as a general. I hope she can get used to things quickly. I don't think I can ever get used to this. It's a pleasure to see you all here today. Collating casualties and losses. Dispatching forces to round up the remnants of the Disciples. Submitting battle reports to the Six Charioteers. Now I know what Jing Yuan meant when he said, The highest throne faces the strongest wins. Generalship is no trifling matter. How could I be enjoying myself? All I can do is get used to it. <laughs> I think she's enjoying herself. Master Diviner, have you summoned us here just to sigh and complain? Of course not. On the contrary. I am eager to thank you all in my official capacity as Acting General of the Law Fu. Now that things have drawn to a conclusion, it is time to reward you. Ooh, all those benefits that the General promised! They're finally here! Yippee! Yes. The Astral Express has braved great evil for the Lafu. Your devotion is evident. After discussions with the Six Charioteers, you are henceforth sworn allies of the Lafu. Within the Lafu's jurisdiction, you are to be treated with the highest standard of diplomatic protocol. On behalf of the Astral Express, I would like to thank you, Master Diviner. Oh, wow. Nothing tangible, then? Uh, but at least it sounds pretty cool. Now that thanks have been expressed, I still have something to discuss with you. 
Please, this way. Would you like me to relay your message? Uh, seriously? Thanking us like that and then immediately sending us on another mission? It's not a mission. The Stellaron Crisis. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus Rebellion. The Arbor's Resurrection. Not to mention the Antimatter Legion infiltrating the La Fu. All of these incidents need reporting at the highest level for investigation. It's just that, having been in the middle of everything, I'm struggling to keep an accurate perspective. I would appreciate if you could go through it all with me, so that I can reacquaint. So, it appears that few could have the present danger posed by the Legion clearly demands a reevaluation. We should proceed cautiously. When the Ambrot presumably... Hmm. They six. That, for example, I'm submitting... I was about to make... Hmm. Jing Yuan has committed quite a few violations this time around, and I'll have to deal with them one by one. <sighs> Cloud Knight Generals are all such a hassle. Before you leave, please make time to recuperate. If there's anywhere you'd like to visit, feel free to take a look. I must attend to some Cloud Knight matters. Farewell for now. Oh, if you pass through Starskith Haven, I have something that I hope you can give to Yuko. <sighs> the Cloud Knights were all I'm all right. As for how matters- I understand. Thank you, Mr. Yang. Now, let me take a look at my remaining duties for the day. <sighs> it's quite the list. It's getting late. If you need me, I'll be in the Divination Commission Conclave Hall. Getting late. Where to now? Please extend my regards to the Ten Lords. I will. Our condolence. You have guests. I shall take my leave. <clears throat> On behalf of the Skyfaring Commission, I would like to thank the crew of the Express for saving the Law Fu from the Stellaron Crisis. Madame Yukong must have heard about Miss Tingyun. Yes, I have heard. Seeing four leave, yet only three return, was enough for me to know that Fu Xuan's report was indeed correct. Report reads like a bad joke. 
it's simply unimaginable. The Antimatter Legion on the Xianzhou? And Ting Yun? A Lord Ravager? How could someone who spent over 30 years working alongside me at the Skyfaring Commission turn out to be nothing more than a monster in disguise? What happened to the real Ting Yun? Ah, uh, Madam Yukong. I'm sorry. I understand. It's just hard for me to accept. <sighs> Thank you for bringing Ting Yun's belongings back to the Palace of Astrum. The Stellaron Crisis has cost us too many comrades. Brothers. Sisters. Children. I'd like to invite all of you, as witnesses to this war, to a soul-soothing ceremony hosted by the Skyfaring Commission. Will you consider? A soul-soothing ceremony? To put it into short life terms, a funeral. You see, for long-life species of the Xianzhou, death has always been a distant, mystical concept. Ordinarily, the Ten Lords Commission guides people to the Hall of Karma before any symptoms of Mara are detected. There, they leave behind their lives and wait for their time to come. People are used to a short farewell as opposed to a tedious burial process. Given our limited lifespans, the only ones who place value on ceremony are us Foxians. Countless Cloud Knights lost their lives or became Mara-struck during the crisis. The Hall of Karma couldn't take them all in, and so they passed away. All of these sudden deaths and unfulfilled wishes remind us that long-life species still live out insignificant and limited lives. By combining Skyfaring Commission technology with Foxian ceremony, we honor those who have passed on. We place items of the dead onto star skiffs and send them out to sail between the stars, to shine brightly among them. It's not just to comfort the dead, those souls who can never talk with us again, but also to comfort their surviving relatives, close friends, and indeed all residents of the Xianzhou. It's also my way of saying farewell to Ting Yun. I know. I'm selfish. She may not have died a cloud night, but she's still one of us here at the Skyfaring Commission. A victim caught up in a wider conflict. I'd like to hold this ceremony as a way of distancing the memory of Ting Yun from the Lord Ravager who tarnished her identity. I can still hardly believe it. I'll use my own methods to locate Ting Yun's whereabouts, but at present, I... <laughs> this is the least I can do for her. I'd like to ask you all to witness this event with me. I've instructed Yen Ming to sort through Ting Yun's belongings. I hope you can pick some out to place around the star skiff. Leave this to us. We'll take care of it as per your wishes, Madame Yukong. Once again, my thanks to all of you. I've asked the judges of the Ten Lords Commission to ratify this soul-soothing ceremony, and have commissioned a special skiff at Stargazer Navalia for the ceremony. If you need anything, that's where I'll be. did say that I like to gossip, and here I am rambling on proving you right again. If only you were here to cut me off. Oh, it's you. For a moment I thought she'd return. 
Did the Helm Master send you over? We are here to help sort out Miss Ting Yun's things. Madam Yukong wants to use some of them for her soul soothing ceremony. Well, I've managed to get through pretty much everything. It's all in this box. Please take your time. Okay, let's see what there is. An Annie Cassiter seal, a small box, a knife, a bow, and something wrapped up tight. I wonder what this is. Looks like some kind of... antique? But who'd want to hold on to something like this? Oh, Ting Yun explained that one to me. It's a folk statuette from Foxian antiquity. They say it can bring wealth if placed correctly. There's also a note in the package. This is for you, Mr. Yen Ming. Wishing you fortune and success in every endeavor. Yen Ming, it seems like this is a gift for you from Miss Ting Yun. I, I remember asking her for one at the time. <laughs> this is unexpected. I, I only mentioned it in passing, but she remembered. Ting Yun and I were from different guilds. We were competitors, but also colleagues. When we used to trade in other lands, we would bring back local specialties and distribute them among friends and other guild members. It became a custom. The rivalry between us and the Whistling Flames to be the Skyfaring Commission's top guild was always fierce. We would gift each other all kinds of bizarre oddities. Candy that made your leg hair grow. A violin that could shatter glass with its piercing shriek. Oh, I was completely unprepared for this. I never thought Ting Yun would leave something behind for me that was so sincere and earnest. If I don't return a gift, I'll lose our little duel. But what could I possibly gift her back? Huh. Besides the seal, the knife, and the bow, none of this seems like something Miss Ting Yun would have kept. I thought she was more about jewelry and beauty. Could there be other things similar to what Yan Ming got? We should take a look. Do you know where we're supposed to take these things? I've never attended a memorial. Is the Sienjo La Fu going to hold a funeral? Sleepless Earl. Was that the name of that tea house at the port when we first got into town? Welcome to the Sleepless Earl. I'm the owner here. The name's Ming Ming. How many of you are there? Which tea would you like today? Oh! This is... This is the tea Miss Ting Yun promised to get for me. She really went to another world for me. She's incredible. When I took over this tea house from my parents, I thought I'd shake things up by creating a new tea product. Famous brews like Whale Tide Spring 
or vegetations in the alchemy cauldron have been around for millennia. And imported mixed teas have also found a niche. Introducing a new product into the industry is really hard. Misty Moon came to the tea house one day and heard about my troubles. She said she could find me a brand new strain during her travels. One that nobody on the CNJO had ever tasted. I just thought she was trying to cheer me up. I never thought she'd actually do it. Where is Miss Teen Yoon today? <sighs> Miss Teen Yoon. We found this box of seeds among her belongings. I'm sure Miss Ting Yoon would have liked for you to have it. Thank you, all of you. I think I should give something to Ting Yoon. Based on her suggestion, I improved the Whale Tide Spring, Emerald Hills, and Dawn Dew strains to make a new variety with a sweet, long-lasting taste. I called it Ting Yoon's Blend. Seeing as Ting Yoon won't be able to try it, we should drink a cup to her memory. There's inspiration in every glance and every breeze. The things of days past are shaped anew through the years. Wapu is famous for its mung bean soda. You've got to give it a try. Did you take some time off? See any more of the Sienjo? Isn't that the place on Aurum Alley over an exalting sanctum? All the foodies go there. What about it? Planning on treating me to a feast? It's the main commercial street in the exalting sanctum. Although it's a lot quieter since the whole Stellaron crisis thing. Tourists fresh off the Starskiff always head to Starwatcher Avenue in Starskiff Haven. It's one of those bustling tourist streets. But if you want the real deal on local snacks, you've got to get to Aram Alley. I've marked it out for you on your map. Whenever I'm tired of Celestial Jade or slacking off, I head over for a bowl of Granny Chen's tofu. Darn it, now that you've brought it up, I suddenly don't feel like clocking in for work anymore. Who's famous for its mung bean soda? You've got to give it a try.
honored guests. Welcome to our humble eatery. What can we get for you today? Oh, something from Miss Tingyun for me? Oh, oh, what a precious person she is. Oh, a sweet thing like her gifting me a kitchen knife. When she first ate here, I told her my motto, you can't better your own food unless you taste it. <laughs> then she got me to talk about my hunting and cooking experiences out on other worlds. She was captivated. She pestered me about dish after dish. At the end, she mentioned she wanted to get me a gift, a sword for a hero and a knife for a chef. <laughs> That's how she put it. She probably came across some rare mineral and forged it by hand. <sighs> Look how sharp it is. I bet it cut straight through a Thalassa titanium terrapin shell. <sighs> Miss Tingyun is too kind. Who among the Aram Alley vendors hasn't been spoiled by the generosity of whistling flames? Her grand fair puts small merchants like us in touch with big intergalactic vendors. If we're talking gifts, it's us who should be gifting her something. Oh, I heard the trade port is open again for business. Miss Tingyun must be real busy, right? This... This is real, right? <laughs> the monster you mentioned, where did it come from? I wish... I wish I could take this knife and cut it to ribbons. <sighs> Forget it. Matters like these are beyond the control and understanding of a cook like me. <sighs> Thank you, all of you. Let me prepare a dish for you as a gift for Miss Tengyun. It was our chili oil beef awful stew that first attracted Miss Ting Yun to our restaurant. I can't believe that she'll never taste it again. Please, you'll have to eat her share too. About that bow, I think I know who Miss Ting Yun intended to gift it to. Mr. Yen Ming said an Ami Cassiter will return with a gift for a trusted colleague. The person who Ting Yun trusts the most is Madame Yukong, right? <laughs>